you know, I'm, I'm aware of two proposals in Queensland for coal-fired power stations. Uh, I don't expect either of them will get a state government permit to build those. Uh, and, and yet, as you've said, we've got good, available and very affordable fuel located in places where you could put power stations or refit the existing yeah. ones and make them larger. The technology is out there to reduce emissions by as much as 90%, even yeah. on our existing facilities. Yes. Uh, and yet the fight is always about the fuel source. It's never yes. about the outcome. And see, I mean, we're allowing the rest of the world now to torpedo our economic strength, which has always been an abundant supply of cheap energy. Now, up where you are, that Bundaberg mayor is supporting net zero. Has the bloke done any homework on this? I think it was aligned. Uh, you know, it's very clear that he was lining up for the federal seat for more than a year. <laughs> a net zero by 2030 for for a council, uh, right? For for ratepayers to have to support. Uh, I've been very clear in my views. I've been very public. I think the ratepayers are entitled yeah. to ask for the cost on that before that decision is and made. I, and I think that'll wake up. Yeah, uh, we look at our up. competitors, Alan, uh, whether wake it's uh, yeah, China wake or up. Russia or others. Yeah, I mean, but your ratepayers oh, will wake, wake up. up. There's no doubt. Absolutely. I mean, you have said if emissions are an issue, and I've argued against that for ages, carbon dioxide is the source of all plant light, but if that is important... You have made the point a thousand times. They are currently at their lowest levels since records began in 1990. Who, apart from Keith Pitt, tells the National Electorate that? Well, there's not too many out there. Uh, facts, as you know, is just not as good as feelings, apparently, in the federal parliament, Alan. It's all about feelings. <laughs> yeah, that's a good line. Fact, not interested. Feelings mean everything. Australia has reduced, just before you go, our emissions more quickly than Canada, Japan, New Zealand and the United States. And if it's important, which I don't believe it is, but we're on track to meet and beat our 2030 Paris target. As you say, the latest projections show a 30 to 35 per cent reduction. What's all the kerfuffle about? Well, that's exactly right. And that sounds like something I've said hundreds of times. You have. Uh, but you know, the, the reality is the idealists, they'll just never accept it. You know, they're out blocking the Harbour Bridge. They're yep. protesting in Sydney. And for what? They got what they asked for. They've mm. got a Labor government. And yet that's still not enough. They want to destroy our nation, uh, the strength of our country, our energy security. I mean, China and Russia, they must sit there scratching their heads wondering why it is Australia would give away such a big advantage, the resources in this country, the things that we can do with them, uh, the fact that we can continue to make ourselves a sovereign nation uh, that's capable into the future, and yet we give all that away. Good on you. Listen, I'll tell you something, Keith Pitt. We haven't heard enough from you. We need to hear more of you. Outstanding. Great to talk to you, and we will talk again. The fight has to be maintained. Well, I've certainly got more time on my hands, Alan. Happy to do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Well done. There he is, Keith Pitt. He's the federal member for Hinkler and talking common sense, but as you know, common sense isn't common.